What's the news? Oh, eat it. You're looking at a hero. What I done in my cap tonight, you never guess. You picked up a Puerto Rican. <laughs> I said I was a hero, not a daredevil. <laughs> Get out of the way. What I done was a good deed for a lady passenger in big trouble. Archie, you delivered a baby? Well, things was kind of slow, see? So uh, I cruised over to Kennedy. Kennedy Airport? No, Cape Kennedy. I'm looking to pick up a fare to the moon. <laughs> Will you stifle yourself and let me finish the story here, huh? Get out of the way! Get over there! Sit down there, read it, huh? Now listen to me. I'm over at Kennedy about ten minutes when all of a sudden this big, tall, beautiful-looking, classy dame hops into the cab. And she says to me, the Northern Motor Inn, please. The Northern Motor Inn? That's right around here. That's where they put me up when I did jury duty. And where was it? A uh, lady got into your cab. Yeah, a lady got into my cab. So, I'm driving along there about 6.30 in the AFM, and I'm making a small chitter-chatter, you know. And all of a sudden, it hits me for about 15 minutes. She ain't been saying nothing at all. See, what well, that ain't natural for a dame, especially a big one. <laughs> So, I check in the rear view mirror, and I see she ain't sitting there. Archie, you forgot to take her along. <laughs> Take your lock and swallow the key, I'm <laughs> All right, she ain't there. So, I pull the cab over to the side there, you see? And I stop her like this here, right? Open the door, get out of the cab. You forgot to close the door. That's all right, don't worry, I'll take care of it. So, Edith, I look in the back and there she is on the floor, cold as a mackerel. So, I hop into the camp, the back, see? And the first thing I notice is that she ain't breathing. That's because you're standing on a chest. Shut up, you! So now... Thinking quick, I start giving a mouth-to-mouth -mouth restitution there. <laughs> and finally, she starts coming around. Archie, do you know what you've done? Sure, I've just been telling you what I've done. Now, along comes this colored cop, see? And he wants to take over the mouth-to-mouth. -mouth. But I'm thinking first, I say, no, I sent him for the ambulance, you know? Because, listen, if you give a person the wrong breath type, you could kill that person. <laughs> She could have wound up with a black lung. <laughs> That's right. Archie, you saved a human life. Yeah. You are a hero. Yeah. Oh. Well, not in front of the boy, you did. Where did you learn mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation anyway? Down at the plant. They got a big poster in the jar and telling you all about it. I read it thousands of times sitting there. Oh, Archie. <laughs> Mr. Munson must have been tickled when you told him what you done. Ah, to him. All he says to me is, Bonehead, you forgot to collect the fare. How do you like that? Saying a thing like that, and I'm faced with a woman laying there prostate. <laughs> I suppose he wanted me to pick a place. Now, I couldn't do a thing like that. You're right. There's no time to think of money. That's right. And how would I know what to tip myself anyhow? <laughs> So, I left my name, address, and phone number at the hospital, see? So she can get in touch with me when she gets out of your what do you call expensive care. Well, that's nice, Archie. Yeah. All Munson cared about was the money, huh? Well, listen, he felt a lot better when I told him all the publicity he's gonna get when this thing breaks in the papers. You mean it was a reporter there? No. Well, then who's gonna tell the papers? You are, buddy. Oh, no, no, wait get a second. Get over no. here. Get oh, over wait, here. Wait a minute. Get on the phone and call the Long Island Press here, and you tell them the whole story like you've seen it. Yeah, but, Arch, I didn't see it. I wasn't there. You're the one that should call the paper. Long Island Press. What will I tell them? You're just going to tell them the story I told you here. The whole truth. You oh. want a reporter here. Oh, okay? all right. All right. Now, dial information, see? Oh. Get the number of the paper. And when you get the paper, you ask for the guy that runs the front page, see? All right, meantime, I'll be upstairs reading in the library. Uh, hello, operator. Would you please give me the number of the Long Island Press? Oh, uh, excuse me, operator. I can't talk to you now. I'll call you back later. Yeah. Goodbye. <laughs> Come in. Oh, hello. 
Is this the Bunker residence? Yeah, I'm Mrs. Bunker. Oh, I'm Beverly LaSalle. Is your husband home? Well, he's busy right now. I got your address from the hospital. Mr. Bunker saved my life this oh, morning. You're the one. Well, come on in. Oh, well, uh, sit down. Uh, here, wait a minute. I'll give you here. Well, how are you feeling now? Oh, much better now, thank you. The doctor said it was complete exhaustion. I'd been working very hard, and I guess I was just worn out. Oh, well, it's a good thing you wore out with Archie. Because he learned how to save people's lives in the toilet at work. <laughs> oh, he saved mine in a cab. <laughs> It was foolish of me to work three shows a night for ten weeks straight without a night off. Are you in show business? Yes. I'm a female impersonator. <laughs> Ain't that interesting? You know, that's smart, too. I mean, who can imitate a female better than a lady? I'm afraid you don't understand, Mrs. Bunker. I'm a transvestite. Well, you, you sure fooled me. I mean, you ain't got no accent at all. Thank you. Uh, I really can't stay very long. I just wanted to thank your husband personally, but will you say he's busy? Oh, not anymore. Archie! Uh, come on down. You got a visitor. I ain't receiving it. Oh, uh, it's the lady whose life you saved this morning. Oh, 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 her. Oh, well, listen, hang on to her. I'll be right down. He'll be right down. Would you like some coffee? Oh, not a thing, thank you. I'm already late for rehearsals. I'm opening tonight at the new Pink Tiger Theater. On Northern Boulevard? Yes. That used to be the old Pink Tiger. Oh, wow, 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 gee, here you are. Well, well, good to see you. The last time I seen you, you was laid out pale as a goat. How you feeling? Oh, just fine, thanks to your knowing exactly what to do. Oh, listen, it was a pleasure. <laughs> I just wish there was some way I could express my appreciation. Well, I can't think of nothing except, uh, well, maybe the cab fare uh, plus whatever. <laughs> Goodness, I completely forgot. Wasn't that silly of Here, this should cover it. Oh, well, wait a minute. The fare was only eight and a quarter. I can't break that oh, bill. Oh, that's all for you. I insist. Do you know that this is a 50? Yes. Wow. <laughs> okay. I never say no to a lady. <laughs> I was telling your wife, Mr. Bunker, I'm no lady. Ah. <laughs> well, listen, how you earn this 50 is no business of mine. <laughs> I will just say thank you, miss, uh, unless you girls like to be called miss. Why don't you call me mister? Mr. <laughs> 